From the IntelFluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the IntelFluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Kanoi Pelfrey is a professional surfer, competitive snowboarder, and full-time model from the Big Isle of Hawaii. Kanoi has a deep passion for traveling and likes to share her adventures through her blog at kanoipelfrey.com. Depending on the time of year, Kanoi might be based out of San Clemente, Kailua Kona, Breckenridge, or Mount Hood. You can follow Kanoi and her golden retriever named Kona on Instagram at Kanoi and H2O. So I guess I'll get started. Can you tell us a little bit about your background, including how you got into professional snowboarding and surfing? Um, I started surfing when I was four years old, and then I started competing right around like six years old, and just that's where I spent all of my time doing. And then after I graduated high school, I got to go on a snowboard trip to Wendell's, and really wasn't like supposed to get into snowboarding um, because I was so busy with surfing and then I just got really really addicted to snowboarding couldn't stop and then really like love the backcountry and couldn't stay away from the backcountry with snowboarding. I would be like at falling on my face everywhere. <laughs> not gonna lie it was uh, me that used, yeah I was like that for a long time I don't think it's changed much since so <laughs> <laughs> well you're professional now so obviously you've gotten better <laughs> and uh, what made you branch out into influencer marketing like when did you start having success as an influencer um as far as like with being an influencer i've always done a lot of surfing campaigns and that's what kind of got me into it really was um i already had sponsors in surfing and then from there other people were like oh i really like those campaigns but with influencer work it kind of allowed more flexibility for me to be more creative without a brand specifically saying we have to shoot this here um we can shoot it at you know in the jungle or we can shoot it at a different location on the beach or on lava rock so that's what i liked about influencer work was it really allowed for you to be able to do anything in that sense what has been your favorite beach um i would probably say mauna kea beach on the big island so it's about 20 minutes down the road from my house so and then as a multi-sport professional, influencer, brand ambassador, and blogger, how do you structure your average day so you can get the most accomplished while still enjoying a full life? Uh, as far as things go, I literally train. I wake up at like 6 a.m. in the morning and I go all the way till probably like 2 or 3 o'clock in the day, whether it's surfing or snowboarding. For snowboarding, it's a lot longer than I would with surfing. But then afterwards... Um, I'm actually a college student too, so I have that going on, immediately go home, do about two hours of homework, and then probably go to bed somewhere right around midnight as far as just whether if it's shooting or whether if it's whatever project kind of going on, so, or blogging. That's dedication. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay, 6 a.m. to like 2, oh my god. It's a little insane right now. It'll get a little bit better, like right around May, and then right around May to summer, my life is I'm a lot more flexible and kind of out of training during that point. So. And I take it you're out of school at that point too, or do you kind of do summer courses in college? Um, it's kind of back and forth. It depends. Um, I'm kind of on and off with summers the past few years, so it's taken forever. It feels like to get through college, so. I, I feel that I recently graduated last year myself, so yeah. I, I know what you mean. <laughs> and then what would you say is your biggest achievement to date as an athlete? As crazy as it sounds, I'd probably say at 21 years old, I started learning how to surf fakie, and I started learning how to ride uh, fakie on my snowboard. And ever since then, as far as riding switch, um, it's kind of like riding the opposite way on your surfboard and your snowboard. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be the biggest highlight I'd probably say of my career was learning that because it really just opened a new window and I started looking at things a lot differently when basically you had to learn how to just be ambidextrous. So. <laughs> 
Would you say your skill set kind of reverted when you changed it? Like you had to learn how to stand up again all over? Um, I kind of did. I think like it came together a little bit faster for me just because I don't know. I had practiced it a little bit, like even as a kid doing everything kind of equal, like whether if it was a cartwheel, I had to do right-handed cartwheels, left-handed cartwheels. So I think it made it just a tad bit easier going in. And what advice do you have for other athletes who might be thinking about getting into influencer marketing but don't know where to begin? Um, I would really tell them to kind of like talk with their sponsors about things and try to see like, hey, do you know of any other brands that are also looking for other people? Um, I think that would be a good way to go. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you actually mentioned about brands um, because you know how people can read your bio and they either send you something good or something bad. So what has been your favorite brand partnership to date? Oh, man. Um, I would probably say Anon Optics. I really I really enjoyed that campaign. Uh, that was a really fun campaign. I got to be on my snowboard and I don't know, it was just so different. It was absolutely freezing up at Mount Hood. And that was a rare day for Mount Hood, Oregon to be absolutely just horribly cold. And I don't know, I was just having a good time. My dog was there and I was there with my family and we were just kind of chilling and there's another photographer there and I had fun working with this photographer that I hadn't seen in a while, so. Yeah, it was a pretty cool day. That's great. And on the flip side, what has been your weirdest request you have received from a brand? Um, oh, that would be really hard. Um, the weirdest request I have received I don't know as much about weird ones. I would just say more challenging ones. Um, like, can you take um, swimming action shots or like specific underwater like poses? And that's really, really challenging to go out and go do that and especially have like someone that you know who can shoot those sort of photos. So I'd probably say like some of the poses they sent me as far as mood boards and being like, hey, we want you to go into this pose. They're kind of interesting. And I was like, okay, that's going to be really hard, you know, to achieve it. But we'll go out. We'll go shoot it. <laughs> and as you said, you got into influencer mar marketing from your sponsors. Where do you see influencer marketing in the next five years or so? I really see influencer marketing actually really taking off into like YouTube, probably some video platform we don't even know about yet. And I kind of see it going into like the vlogging or video direction. So yeah, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see where that takes everybody in the next five years. Want to join IntelliFluence as an influencer for free? It's easy. Visit IntelliFluence.com, click on the Influencers link, and then click on the Join for Free button to sign up. Once you have registered, you will get immediate access to our Influencer Marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and well, you know the drill. Until our next episode, keep being awesome.